Hello everyone, this is a detailed piano lesson for the first prelude of the Well-Tempered Clavier in C major. Um, if you know the piece already, you may use it as a memorization guide. If you're a beginner, you can play this. Uh, you just have to be very diligent and learn one measure at a time. So what we will do is we will break it down one measure at a time and what you need to do is practice it one measure at a time and memorize it as we go along. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna find middle C with the left hand, and you're gonna put right here three and one, and the right hand's gonna put one on G, C, and E, fourth finger. You can also play it each measure as a solid chord, which is actually what you want to do as you move from one thing to another. Uh, so when you're playing, What you're actually doing is this. You're moving from one right, and this is actually a good way to practice. So first chord is C major. Right, so find it as a solid chord and then play it. So it goes bottom right up the chord and then starting with the right hand so the direction is up two times right all the way up and then from here up okay so that first measures twice so now we're going to find the next chord which is this so this is a d minor over the c pedal so here's your here's your D minor chord. It's it D F and A, but the F goes up here. So we get the F from here. We put it here. Okay. So now you're gonna play that measure. And it's exactly the same pattern. We go all the way up. We start with the right hand and go up. Okay, and we play each twice. So you practice the first measure to the second measure. Okay, so now I'm not gonna be doing this throughout the whole video, but that was just to show you how to get from one measure to another. So we know we're gonna go a little faster. So what you're gonna to need to do is learn each measure and then just pause the video. So uh, first measure. second measure. Okay, here's the third measure. So this is a G chord, right? It's missing the third, and it's still over a C pedal, right? So here's, here's a, a G, a D, an F, and there's one more D in the left hand, right? So. next chord C chord first chord we started with next chord this is an A minor chord so here's our C here which was, has been our pedal if we put it here you can clearly see A C E A minor chord right we're leaving that out we're playing a fifth here the A the E So that's our next chord. Okay, next chord is a D7 chord, right? And our C pedal conveniently becomes the seventh of the chord. So if we were to play the chord D7, that, that would be our seventh, but it happens to be here in our pedal. So it's C, D, F sharp, A, D. So that's the next chord. Next chord. It's a G chord over the third, which is a B. Because I'm going so slowly, I'm using any old fingering, but this is probably the fingering you want to use. You want to use your second finger here. it 
it solidly, you can play it separately. And then the next chord is this, which is a C major seventh, right? But it's not really a C major seventh. This, this B would be considered a passing tone in box day because it's going to resolve like this to the A minor seven, right? So we have this B here, and O with a C chord. And you're gonna play that twice. And then the B resolves to A. So this is your chord, A minor seventh. So you have an A, a C, an E, and a G. One, three, five, seven. An extra third up here. And now a D7. So you want to play all of these solidly. So here's your third, right? So if I put this D here, actually it's just a, you know, it's a D7 because of the seventh is here. So here, here would be the chord, root, third, fifth, seventh. Now we get the C, we're gonna put it up here. We're gonna get the, the F sharp, put it here. And the next chord is G major. Okay, and you can see that the G and the B are doubled, and there's your G, right? You can play it solidly too, just for practice. And then the next chord, this is a diminished seventh chord. So if I get all of the notes that are up here, put the C sharp here, there we have all minor thirds. So it's G diminished seventh. And you can play it solidly and then play it as it's written. Right? You're going to use four and two here. And there's our next chord, D minor. And also notice I'm starting to link the measures. So what you're going to do to practice, and if you go back, you can practice it the same way, is what you do is you play, you play the measure as written, and then you play a solid chord for the next one. And now you're already set, right? And this is just for practice, and get you ready to move from one chord to the next. So here's your D minor chord. It has the third in the bass. It's the F, right? So if I play the D minor chord in root position, it's these three notes. So this whole thing is just those three notes, right? So the F is in the bass. And then you have an open fifth in the right hand. And then what happens? The next chord is a F diminished seventh. So or a D diminished seventh, it's F diminished seventh. If you go by the bass, right? So C major with an E in the bass. So again, same pattern. The uh, open fifth, the third. So here's your C major chord. your F with an E in the bass and again this is going to resolve this way so this this second is going to resolve to D minor 7 right so this you can say this is an F major 7th if you if you so desire okay D minor 7 That G7 chord is like, ah, because it's a, the rich fifth. Okay, so G7 would be G, B, D, F, right? So the B and the D go up here, and then the seventh is here, and we have the root and the fifth on the left hand. And that 
that's going to resolve, of course, to C major, right in our position. And then C7, see, root, third, fifth, seventh. So it looks like we're headed to F major, because this is the dominant seventh of F major. F major seventh. I guess uh, Bach is a is a jazzer. And F major seventh presented as a one chord. Next chord, diminished seventh, F sharp. So here's your chord: F sharp, A, C, E flat, right? And down here is F sharp and C. playing the whole cluster but this is the actual chord. The C is just a passing tone but I played them all because that's what you have to have your hand on. This is the actual chord, right? So it's an F diminished seventh. G7. Okay. So it's root seventh and then a G major chord in root position. C. So now we're going to have a G pedal for a while because G, uh, G is our dominant and the piece is going to end. And most composers are telling you the piece is about to end when you start seeing a pedal on the dominant. It means that the climax of the piece is coming also, right? So climax is usually going to be a 6-4 chord later on. So C major. with a suspended fourth. C is a suspended fourth, so this is a G7. And that fourth is going to resolve to here. So it goes like that, G7. And we should have this next, but instead, no, we have this, right? So he, he fools us by G7. And then F sharp diminished seventh over the G pedal. Right? So it's actually this. And then C major. So here's our chord G, E, G. C, G. This is the climax of the piece right here. And again, you're suspended. It's almost as if to say, uh, yeah, I did this once, now I'm gonna do it the right way, right? So G suspended, and then G7. And then again, he fools us by doing C7. So instead of giving us uh, C as the tonic, he gives us C as the dominant, and then we're going to have an Amen, right? So here's your chord, C7. And then F. So there's our chord, our whole chord, F chord over C. last little bit. So you have C with that dissonance B, then G7, fourth finger, fifth finger, four. And you can fill in the score however you like. C major. 
Okay, so now a um, couple musical things. There are no dynamics written by Bach, obviously, because this was played on a keyboard, like either a harpsichord or a clavichord, something that, that uh, did not have dynamics, right? So you, you had all uh, other ways of being expressive, but on a piano, if you're playing on a piano, you can use dynamics, right? You can also use pedal. Uh, so most of these things are in one chord. So um, certain harmonies will pop out at you. Um, you can you can play around with things, right? So um, when you're playing, you could play very sweetly at the beginning. So one chord's a little more intense than the next. Maybe this is more intense, and this is not. And then it opens a little bit more, and more rich. Maybe a question mark. And an answer. Maybe another question and a sweeter answer. Maybe a very secret question and a longer question. So have fun practicing. Thanks for watching.